Hello and welcome back. In Miami, we love our espresso Cuban coffee and our cafe con leche. Today, I'm gonna be making flan de cafe or espresso flan. And you know what? It's just like cafe con leche in solid form bathed in caramel. What can be better? The first thing we need to do is the caramel. In my pot, I'm cooking one and a half cups of sugar with about a quarter of a cup of water. We need to melt this sugar until it becomes caramel. Now, do not stir the sugar or it's gonna crystallize and you want a smooth caramel. So be patient. You can move the pot a little bit, but don't stir. Remember, medium high. The sugar has been cooking for about eight minutes. As you can see, it already turned a yellow caramel color. As soon as that happened, you can transfer it to your mold. Don't wait too long, otherwise it will turn bitter. It will turn a bitter flavor instead of a sweet flavor. You see how it is? It's yellow, golden, beautiful golden yellow caramel color. Now let it sit there and we're gonna start working on the custard for the flan. Now we need to prepare the flan custard. And here I have six whole eggs, and they're large, by the way. We need to mix them well. To these, I'm gonna add a can of sweet condensed milk. The whole can, this is what is gonna sweeten this custard or this flan. Uh, you need a quarter of a cup, between a quarter and a third of a cup of really strong coffee. I recommend espresso coffee. Here it goes, we mix it. Now I'm adding two teaspoons of cinnamon. This is a contrasting flavor here, the cinnamon. And I'm adding also one and a half cans of evaporated milk. As you can see, it's turning dark. This is the beautiful cafe con leche color. Remember, one and a half. And I'm eyeballing it here. Mix well. And the last ingredient that I'm gonna include here, and this is for some extra flavor, is gonna add a little something that people are gonna say, hmm, what else is in there? And it's a drizzle of Kahlua or coffee liqueur. And mix well. The last ingredient that I wanna add here is a little bit of salt. I'm eyeballing it, just a tiny little bit, a pinch of salt. And why? That is to balance all the flavors. Now I'm gonna pour it in my mold or my tin. As you can see, there's speckles there, and that is the cinnamon, which is just fine. Now I'm gonna bake it or cook it in my oven at 350 degrees in un baño de maria or bain marie. 350 degrees, but about an hour and an hour or an hour and 15 minutes. After the flan comes out of the oven, let it cool down and then refrigerate for at least eight hours. Although overnight is even better. If you like the exotic flavor of coffee, this recipe is gonna be one of your favorite. Now, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next time in my Miami kitchen. Goodbye.